Welcome to Swolehammer. Even though we enjoy the skirmish gameplay of Warcry and the sleek design of Spearhead, there's something to be said about fielding a big army. Hence why I started Starting Sigmar! For whoever is new to the channel or series, the mission of these videos is to make a fun and effective 1000 point list from a specific faction. The criteria is as follows. We avoid making lists with repeat models unless unavoidable. It's boring to say, buy the same box twice and be done with it. Models need to be easily accessible either from Games Workshop or Amazon. Of course, support your local game store, but this is just for access for people who are new to the hobby. Speaking of being new to the hobby, all models suggested are in plastic because it's the easiest by far to work with and is kind of the standard in this day and age. So join me as we tunnel through the mortal realms with the maniacal Skaven. So why play Skaven? I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you want chaos in its most unbridled form, Skaven are for you. Humanoid rat creatures that sow chaos in the mortal realms using warp fire technology, fleshcraft, and pure unadulterated warfare, the Skaven are more varied than a lot of people take them for. And being part of the Skaventide 4th edition launch box, they have had one of the biggest range refreshes we have ever seen in the Warhammer hobby. Including a new greater demon in the form of Vizic Scour, the Skaven pose a truly daunting threat. So be it summoning harrowing plagues with Clan Pestilence or sneaking through your foes as Clan Eshin there is bound to be something for everyone. Now on to the buy list. And per usual, buy list number one will focus on the Vanguard or now Spearhead box. With your second purchase simply being a box of Storm Fiends. Yes, a second unit for this thousand point list. This is a clan Skyre focused list. So you have a ton of bodies with a ton of punch from your Warp Lightning Cannon two groups of storm fiends and some magic backup from your gray seer and then for buy list number two we're doing a first tier on starting sigmar where we're actually having a 1500 point list featured on this episode and thankfully this is another two box list first off it's the skaven half of the skaven tide box couldn't help it it's just too good of a value and then the second box being another box of storm fiends yes storm fiends in this list as well as you'll see they're good in 4th edition like they were in 3rd. Now going over the list themselves, and this Clan Skyr list from the Spearhead box, as I mentioned earlier, has the Clan Rats to support a lot of bodies on the field that come back, 2 units of Storm Fiends, and a Warp Lightning Cannon. This will ensure that extremely heavy punch in your list. On top of which, our battle formation, i.e. detachment, i.e. sub-faction, is the Warp Cog Convocation. This lets you buff your Skyr units at a risk. And thankfully, we have exactly three Skyr units that can benefit from the three buffs that are handed out. And then a Gracier with just as a magical backup caster wizard type to be able to give any buffs that you might need. Now for list number two, we have actually an army of renown in the Great Grand Nahord. I picked this one because this army of renown actually supports having a mixed clan army. And since Skaventide represents Clan Verminous, Clan Skyre, and Clan Molder, at least in some regards, that way you can take advantage of every aspect of your list. The Gracier is the general in this list as well. It being Master Clan lets you take a little bit from every clan to put it into your regiment. Then we're using 40 clan rats, every clan rat from the Skaventide box, just to soak up damage and keep coming back as a recurring threat. The new Claw Lord on Gnaw Beast to be a precision striker. The Rat Ogres is just beefy hammers. And then we have Storm Fiends, the Warplock Gisales, Warlock Engineer, and the Rattling Warp Blaster to be the backline threat to mow down all your foes, while the Storm Fiends can also get into the mix if needed. This list plays so well into the sub-faction and the Skaventide box, and I'm absolutely in love with this. And also, if you wanted to go to 2000, you just get Vizic, and it pretty much gets you to 2000 alone, making it nearly a three-box purchase for 2000 points. Gotta love that. 
So that's it. We've barely dipped our claws into fourth edition and so far it's been a warp blast. And if you like this video and are excited to see more starting Sigmars and Sigmar content, please take an extra second to help us out. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. As always, this is Rafiq from Swolehammer. Stay swole.